for about two years now. Since university? Two years. Six months. <laughs> two years. <laughs> no, I haven't thought about that. Nope. I have not. What do you mean by that? I have not considered those dangers, no. No. But, I mean, a, be a bit, but not really. My name's Graham Cooley. I'm a station commander based at Westbourne Fire Station uh, and I work uh, looking after the, the Westbourne district in Bournemouth uh, and also do some technical fire safety work. Okay, so the number of e-cigarette fires has increased uh, nationally since they were first introduced but as with anything, the more uh, uh, people use them, the more opportunities there are for uh, the market to produce cheaper alternatives. Okay, so an e-cigarette essentially is a battery and a, uh, an atomizing unit which heats up a coil and a reservoir of fluid. Uh, so the battery uh, is a, usually a lithium type battery which if it's not looked after properly or charged correctly uh, can pose a risk of degradation and therefore potential fire risk. Within uh, Dorset and Wiltshire area we've certainly uh, attended fires, um, we've had significant incidents in high-rise type buildings, um, so we attended one in, in the pool area uh, a few years ago now um, that caused significant damage to the flat. Um, I'm also aware through our fire safety uh, and fire investigation teams nationally incidents of uh, e-cigarettes causing quite significant uh, harm to people when they've exploded. Um, and we've certainly got evidence of, um, of explosions that have caused quite considerable damage, um, apart from the fire damage, uh, both to people and to the, the properties that they live in. The misconceptions around uh, e-cigarettes is that because in the main smoking laws applied to tobacco smoke within buildings, some people then felt that e-cigarettes were okay to bring inside a building. And I think people need to be aware that they do still present a risk. The vapour that is emitted when you smoke an e-cigarette still has the potential to cause false alarms from smoke detectors and that within the property. So um, where people uh, assume that it's just steam, actually that still could cause false alarms, which for us the fire service are really quite frustrating. Yeah, it's quite shocking to see. Sure. How did he do that to himself by vaping? Nah, I don't like that one. Well, that doesn't look ideal to be fair. <laughs> okay, I get it, yeah. You've ruined my day now, thank you. <laughs> Given the audience that this uh, film is likely to be seen by, um, my uh, biggest um, piece of advice would be um, Make sure that you've got working smoke alarms in your property. Uh, make sure that uh, you are careful about how you use electrical equipment and tobacco smoke if you are still smoking tobacco. Uh, and make sure that you uh, have an escape plan from wherever you're living, be that in uh, student accommodation or hotels or wherever you go, even in your own home. Make sure that you uh, know what to do if there's a fire, that you know how to get out and that everyone can safely get out if there's a problem.